A missing mom from Connecticut said she feared her volatile, estranged husband. And this article is by the New York Post. A missing Connecticut mom of five lived in fear of her volatile, estranged husband, whom she had accused of cheating, saying he smuggled home a handgun from Florida and expressed sickening revenge fantasies against people who crossed him court papers revealed. Jennifer Doulas, who disappeared on Friday, made the alarming allegations in an emergency application for custody of her five kids as part of a June 2017 divorce suit against her husband, Fotis Doulas. I am afraid of my husband. I know that filing for divorce and filing this motion will enrage him. He is dangerous and ruthless when he believes that he has been wronged, uh, the mom wrote. During the course of our marriage, he told me about sickening revenge fantasies and plans to cause physical harm to others who have wronged him. In her affidavit, Jennifer 50 said she found a receipt for a gun box in their home on May 31, 2017 and confronted Fotis 51 about it the following day. Fotis admitted to recently purchasing a handgun from a friend in Florida and bringing it to Connecticut in his luggage on a commercial plane she said. Jennifer said that although Fotis did not have a permit, he insisted on keeping the gun for protection. I am terrified for my family's safety, especially since discovering the gun as my husband has a history of controlling volatile and delusional behavior, she added. In her affidavit, Jennifer also accused Fotis, who owns the Four Group, a custom home building company, of carrying on an extramarital affair. Jennifer said that his mistress had a 10-year-old daughter and that he told her he wanted to move them into the couple's home in Farmington near Hartford. I have rented a home in New Canaan, Connecticut, so that I can safely leave the marital residence with the children and live close to their school. The couple's kids, three boys and two girls, including two sets of twins, range in age from 8 to 13. In court papers, Fotis said there was no reason for Jennifer or or anyone to believe he would harm her in any way. He said his gun was legally purchased on May 25, 2017, and that Jennifer never objected during several discussions before he bought it. He said he kept it unloaded with a trigger lock in place, safely locked in a box with three different locks, until June 21, 2017, the day after Jennifer sued him for divorce, when he turned it over to the Farmington Police Department. Stanford Superior Judge Thomas Collin denied Jennifer's motion for custody, saying she has not established by a preponderance of the evidence that there is an immediate and present risk of physical danger or psychological harm to the parties. Collin's ruling didn't address the issue of the handgun or photos alleged affair. The parents have been sharing custody of their kids since uh, the July 27, 2017 decision, but they've been battling over the conditions since then, records show. New Canaan police have said that Jennifer was reported missing on Friday and that she was last seen driving a black 2017 Chevrolet Suburban that was discovered that day. On Tuesday, cops and Connecticut state troopers used trained dogs to scour the woods surrounding her home. The search shifted Wednesday to Waveney Park, a 300-acre expanse near the Merritt Parkway, with at least a half a dozen police dogs sniffing around an area that includes a pond and a spot known as the Cornfields, according to the Connecticut Post. A photo posted on Twitter also shows cops operating a drone as part of the search. In a statement Wednesday, Jennifer's family called her a devoted mother who would never, ever disappear when she is responsible for the lives of five loving and energetic children. Fotis Lawyer didn't immediately return an email seeking comment. Thanks, guys, for watching. I want to say thank you to Judith for giving me a tip about this case. I actually saw it this morning, but I hadn't gotten around to doing a video because I've been extremely busy. Anyways, thank you, Judith, again. It looks like we have another case of a hubby getting rid of his ex because he don't want to pay child support. 
Men, let me tell you something, and wives, if you don't want to pay child support or alimony, sign over your rights. You don't murder your spouse or the mother or the father of your kids. Anyways, guys, let's say a prayer for Jennifer's family. Let's pray that they find her safe, but it's not looking good. Like her family said, she would never just walk away from her children. She loved her children more than life itself. Anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. Peace.